Anand, um, in light of all these developments, the up move yesterday and today's uh, downtick, would you recommend any tactical churn in your portfolio? Well, obviously, I think, you know, you've seen a huge move up, up on the banks yesterday and we've seen a bit of a give up there. I think the give up should uh, continue for a little bit longer uh, on the banking sector. I think the overall positioning of the portfolio has to move away from the domestic consumers uh, to uh, more export oriented even though that seems to be a theme which has played out and uh, rupee also has strengthened quite considerably from where it was at 68 to now maybe around 60, 61. But I still think that the fall that has happened since 55 is more than enough to give you a cushion in terms of earnings for most of the export companies. Uh, most uh, portfolios tend to focus only on IT and pharma. I am suggesting that we look at uh, uh, things like textiles and uh, auto ancillaries a little bit more, especially auto ancillaries, those which have an export uh, portfolio, uh, because those are the other two traditional export sectors for India and they are likely to continue to do reasonably well there. Uh, the only domestic sector which I find myself bullish on is actually the power generation sector and uh, the related uh, you know, financial institutions uh, which are supplying to, I mean, which are giving money to uh, power utilities and, uh, uh, and and to the sector as a whole. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for most, for the most part, I think the domestic consumption story is uh, for now completely played out, and I think it should one should be significantly underweight that. All right, Anand. Thanks very much for joining in this afternoon. We let you go and enjoy the remaining part of this Friday afternoon for the.